Well, here we go. And for once, I get to hit the record button, Chris. Chris Thanks. from Fruition Productions <laughs> and Osmey's Documentary. How you doing, man? I'm doing awesome. Thanks so much for having me on here. Hey, man, thank you for being here. So look, you guys just dropped a really, really incredible trailer. Yeah. It's five minutes, but it is so well laid out and tells an amazing story about what this docu-series is. Give us a little overview about what you've just released here. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that there was a large narrative, right? So before we had shown like a little bit of XRP Army, we shown a little bit of the stuff we had recorded uh, with uh, John Deaton, you know, kind of a teaser of there he is. And yes, there's this big piece of it, which is the regulatory capture of, you know, certain members of the SEC. But we had filmed so much. I mean, from the time that trailer had released to now, we've we've interviewed 12 additional folks. We've added a lot more um, surface area to the documentary, including diving into the developer community and um, talking with additional members of the XRP um, army and experts that are across multiple segments. And, and so my biggest takeaway was we got to show more of our cards. We got to show a bigger narrative. We got to basically give people the story so that if you're not part of the community, you could watch this thing and get a general sense of, Oh, okay. I get it. Like, yep. Something's up. Inflation's going on. Is it? Yes, it is. There's a lot of money printing going on. And, there's a lot of decentralization going on in the world and we're moving off the dollar standard and there's all this stuff going on with regulation. And But yet, you know, we want everyone to understand that the battle that the XRP communities had and really the battle that Ripple's had against the U.S. government and what are the motivations behind that? And then where do we go after that, right? Launch past that because we are getting towards the end of that phase and we're getting more into the future uh, and a, a very exciting week with Ripple announcing their stable coin on the XRP Ledger ecosystem, uh, giving more utility to XRP. And I think that um, that, again, proves that we're just the best is yet to come, as Brad says at the end of our clip there. <laughs> look, I really do think it is the best is yet to come. There's no question about it. So, look, you guys are going to be at XRP Las Vegas and right. tell the people out here what they can expect to see on stage with your uh, slot and panel at XRP Las Vegas. Yeah, so what we showed today was sort of, you know, we just dropped a new trailer that gives you more of a, a taste of the narrative, right? Gives you a little bit of this. When you go to XRP Las Vegas, you know, Brad's been kind enough to give us a uh, a slot there. And so we're going to give you actually a, a kind of more like an appetizer of the documentary. We're going to show a segment of the documentary that no one's seen. It'll be sort of the uh, first look anybody outside of our production team will have uh, at seeing a larger piece of the documentary, giving you a sense of what actual segments will look like. So we'll zoom into a part of the documentary, give you breadth and depth, um, most likely, you know, highlighting things that we've recorded in the world of the XRP army, because a lot of us are a part of that, but also showcasing the future of where we're going with crypto and kind of get people excited about, you know, what we're doing. And it's also an opportunity for us to film. So we'll be there. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Filming, uh, filming the environment, filming people. <clears throat> and that's good. But the biggest opportunity, I think, for those that are attending is to be part of it. You know, we're still in production right now. We're still in production. So if there's somebody out there that wanted to lend their voice to the project, they have some expertise that they feel they want to give to us. We will be recording there and we will have a, an interview booth of sorts and you can come out and, and, and provide us, you know, your, your insights. And not only that, but we're also excited to partner with a lot of the keynote speakers that are there to, you know, collect that next piece of expertise. We, we'd love to speak with the upholds and bitmaxes of the world, bitstamps of the world, excuse me. And we'd also love to talk to other companies that are doing innovations in the crypto space, you know, those that are doing wills and trusts and ETFs and all of that great stuff that's moving the traditional finance retirement and or financial investment vehicles into the crypto space. We want all those folks. Um, so, you know, it, it gives us a tremendous opportunity for that audience to see a little bit more of the documentary they've never seen and lend their voice to it. It'll be really one of the last times we're actually out there uh, recording. And it's the only time in a in a pseudo public setting that we will uh, have the uh, uh, opportunity for folks from the community to just come up and record with us. So we're very excited to be there. We'll be there both days. 
recording all day um, and uh, even recording a little bit. Some of the after parties, we're going to one or two after parties. So well, we're excited to see everybody out there in Las Vegas. And we're excited to see you, no doubt about it. And look, uh, do you have a release date in mind right now? Or is it still kind of open-ended because you're still putting some of these storylines together? Yeah, I mean, we we have to build the, the whole project, right? So we're still building it. But of course, I'm still committed to having the project um, done by the half year point. So, you know, we've always tried to be done by really done filming by end of May. But, you know, for those of you not in the film world, there's a big process that happens after you're done filming. You know, you have to post production. We've got, you know, editing and we have to really find the story and then get all the visuals right. You know, the motion graphics and different types of, you know, uh, on screen graphics that help you tell the story and then color correction and then sound mixing and then, you know, music. And so there's a process to make sure that it's super tight. So even though that, you know, my, my job as a director is done with the, you know, interviewing and the organizing of the interviews, the job is not done in the editing room for quite some time. (laughs) So you got to work on that for a couple of months, but after we do finish that, you know, we are in conversations with some streaming platforms and, um, you know, we'll announce as soon as we have, you know, a final home for that. Um, but, but the big thing I think as an indie production company, you know, very small, there's very few of us, uh, working on this and we're entirely self-financed, you know, because we don't have, um, it's risky to a certain extent because we don't have a predetermined distribution deal. I didn't take money from HBO and, and made this thing. I made this thing on my own dime. And the only people getting paid are my crew, like, uh, you know, who are who are all out there working and, you know, they're working a full time gig on this this project. Um, so we, we need to basically finish it before they're willing to offer you, you know, something for it. So that's the first goal is let, let me finish it. <laughs> and then after we we finish it, um, you know, there are some interested parties. And as soon as we get a deal done there, then I really am committed to pushing you know, for a 2024 release, but I just think it's going to be sometime in the second half of the year. And it's up to that streaming platform that, that purchases us, you know, to bring that out in the timing of their own slate, you know, that makes sense. But I'm hoping to see it, you know, out there in the world, no later than, you know, the late fall of this year, uh, like publicly released. Um, but that would be, you know, if every, all the stars aligned and everything went right and everything went good. So we're trying our best, you know, the one, the one thing we can do to protect against that is just, make the highest quality possible um, that we can with the story. Um, the story is phenomenal. The people we've interviewed have been great. And I think that the those of us who are in the community, we know it's a crazy story. We know there's quite a lot there. Um, but then making that accessible to the next group. I've always said the macro, pro, what, why are you doing this? I've always said that the, the biggest part of this is awareness. We need to, there's this incredible transformation happening around us right now in 2024. So, how do I take what I've learned from the crypto community, package that into a story that's compelling, educational, entertaining, and give that out to an audience that doesn't have all the context we have? So I think, you know, as a community member, when you when you see it, I think you'll some things, you, you know, will be you've heard this before. Some things maybe will slot in for the first time. You're like, wow, I still have revelations every now and again. I'm like, whoa, you know, this is incredible. Uh, the things that we're learning about the the whole ecosystem of crypto um, end to end. So anyways, um, TLDR, hopefully by fall this year, we're, we're out there in public. People can watch us on a streaming platform. Well, it, that's great news to hear. And I won't hold you to it because I know what it's like to make a film. And I certainly know what it's like to do the editing because I edited every single second of the Krypton Airs film we did back in 2020 and 2019. Yeah, it's a task. It yeah. is a massive, massive task. And people don't realize there's so many different ways you can run. You know, this guy says it really well. This guy says it really well. This lady says it really well. You could choose to use all three. And editing is about picking which one makes the most impact to keep continuing to tell that story for the for the viewer. So I, I, I do not envy whoever has to do the editing here because I already know that you have captured a ton of incredible material from incredible people. So... I just wanted to give a nod to you because this trailer, uh, it's a five minute plus trailer. But when I watched it this morning, I really felt like this trailer is designed to speak and tell a short story to someone who's not in this space. And I thought Mm -hmm. you did such a great job of making it this kind of slow opening for somebody who's 
they don't know the difference between Bitcoin or or Ethereum or stable yeah. coins. They just say crypto or Bitcoin and think it's everything. It's synonymous yeah. with all whole space. So I think you did a fantastic job. I think it's going to excite people and really pique their curiosity and they're going to want to know more. I encourage everybody that is coming to XRP Las Vegas Get your story in your mind that you want to share because you're going to have a confessional area set up where people can share those stories. And you never know. Chris has the ear and the eye for what needs to set the storyline off. So you never know when your story, no matter how personal or how big it may be, you feel, tell it. I encourage you to tell it because you've got the eye to know what to grab to put it in the film. Yeah, I think st storytelling is uh, is ultimately the most important thing you know, is the most important task That's right. uh, as the, you know, director of the project. You know, my my goal is to make sure that you can follow along. It's easy to understand and that you hear from a myriad of voices. You know, I say I come to I sometimes say <clears throat> people will pick their hero. Right. You, you'll find somebody in that story. Maybe you resonate a little bit more with um john deaton style or maybe right. you resonate a little bit more with coach jv maybe you're a little bit more on the religious scale or maybe you're a little bit more just more analytical and that's fine you know there's people across the whole spectrum so my goal in storytelling is really to make sure in most segments because because it's very hard to compress all the stuff down that's right. you know when i i have full episodes uh edited and put together and so we're pulling bits and pieces from here and there but when you really go down the journey, you know, it. I, I sometimes often ask similar questions in the interviews, and that gives me an opportunity to lace those answers together. And in some cases, some people are just experts in an area, and they have this incredible ability. I, I notice people who are attorneys, particularly, are really good at recalling dates and times and facts. And, you know, not surprising because that's what they do for a living. But um, it, it, it's it's useful in terms of my number one goal is always to protect the audience, making sure that you can follow along. I'm like, well, you don't know, you don't know that yet. So I need to open that topic up and then build the house piece by piece so I can take you through the journey and you understand you know, what's happening all while, again, entertaining, right? Because media is entertainment. So I'm not to say that uh, I'm going to, I would never uh, uh, sacrifice the educational components of it, but I have to keep you engaged and I have to remind you why this matters, mm -hmm. right? If you start going too techy, you know, XLS 30, XLS 20 is when NFTs were available on the XRP ledger. And this is why, you know, it's, well, what's an NFT and why does that matter? And what's XLS? What is that? What is that about? So I have to build the foundation episode by episode to take you along the journey and hopefully have you, you know, kind of on a roller coaster of like, wow, discovery um, of different facts and information across the ecosystem, and then leave you in a place where we climb the hill and go into the future, which I think there's a lot of bright, you know, uh, futurists and inventors in the in the space uh, of crypto technology, and uh, we're still the earliest days. It's still the earliest days in this stuff. So that's what makes me excited. You know, uh, I, I've seen some commentary like, "Well, wait till it moons," and blah blah. blah. The, the documentary is not really about the price of XRP, to be real with it, everybody, you know, don't get disappointed, but, or, you know, don't be disappointed when you see it. Let me set you up for it. There's no price at all, actually. That's right. <laughs> it, it's more about being aware of the transformation of the crypto technology space. Ripple is, I think, the best company to tell that story around and the XRP ecosystem because it is the most legit, you know, built out developer company that is trying to actually solve real world problems with legit executive staff and partnerships with international institutions, you know, and it's sort of the leader in that, in that space. It's actually surprising that more of like a, and they're, they are in San Francisco, but it's surprising that not another like tech giant try to take that task on, right? Like a, a of an Oracle or a Google or, or, or someone else didn't do that. But, um, it's fascinating to to wrap that story around them or, or a traditional bank, right? Frankly. So I think that um, it, it's very exciting for us to, to tell that story to an audience who doesn't have that again, awareness being the macro objective, making you understand, you know, where this is going, what's going to happen. Um, and I'm just, I feel excited about it. The more we shoot, the more excited I get, you know? So I, I think we're going down the right direction 
And I, I continue to, you know, reach my hands out and say, hey, if there, you're an expert in this space, we'd love to talk with you, include you, uh, your, your voice matters in this. And uh, we want to tell the most robust and, and complete story we can about this whole topic of uh, the future of cryptocurrency through the lens of XRP. And I think you're doing a great job. And I cannot wait to see this documentary in the series when it comes out. Chris from Fruition Productions, XRP Unleashed. Thank you for stopping by. Don't go anywhere, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.